and caring woman from Trinidad. She loves to wear tropical, colorful clothes. And my father is an adventurous guy who's really fast at running since he's from the, da the, the, the since he's from the dairy land of the state of Wisconsin. So Chandra, this is just an excerpt from your book that you are, you have written. And yeah. um, as we were speaking earlier, you are actually going to do a series of books. Yeah. Tell me, where do you draw your inspiration from in regards to these books? Oh, my goodness. Um, I take them from my personal travels. Right. Traveling the world, doing and teaching yoga. To... You, so you travel and you teach yoga. Yeah. So you've been in a number of countries. Many. And, and, and that many countries. Many, How many, many are we talking about? Oh, I, I lost track, to be honest. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. That must be an incredible life, an uh, incredible life to lead to um, go around to different countries doing something I, w I would expect that you love. Yeah, it's incredible to um, put yourself out there and to follow your heart. You can't imagine how many like amazing experiences you can, you can come across when you when you put yourself out there and believe in yourself. Is that the message of the book? Actually, yeah, yeah? it is. <laughs> yes, it is. It's the foundation of the book. The book is ultimately there to inspire young readers or readers all, all over the world to believe in themselves and follow their hearts. You said young readers. Um, what age group are we talking about? We're looking at like three, as young as three to like yeah. ten even. Yeah, really? there's Three content percent. in here for for a variety of age groups. Right. Yeah, um, and um, it's you got the yoga, you got geography, you got cultural, uh, you got cultural, uh, you know, like influences in there as um, well. Language as well. Yeah, different language terminology. Really? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yoga yeah, yeah. terminology. And that whatnot. is so cool. So, um, yeah. tell me, what's what's the name, the title of this one yeah. to begin with? This is called "Welcome to the Epic Adventures of Chandrini Yogini." This is awesome. So, <laughs> Chandra, so of course, we will draw that Chandrini is taken from your name yes. and um, Yogini is because you practice yoga. Exactly. Right? Obviously. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Um, but tell me about your experiences. What motivated you to start the like doing this book series? Wow. Um, well, because I put myself out there in the yoga world and just in the world in general, following my heart, I had all these incredible experiences from like um, doing yoga retreats in the Maldives to um, Jamaica to now right. Trinidad. Right. Yeah. And um, you said your mom is from Trinidad. Yeah. Where's your father from? He's from Wisconsin. Wisconsin so, yeah, right? so and I'm actually you, born and raised in Wisconsin. Yeah, so you're born and raised, and then you yes. went off all over the world yes. to um, travel, yeah. do your yoga, and everything like that. Yes. That's so interesting. You, the sights and stuff you have seen, probably absolutely amazing. Um, incredible, yeah. Just um, the nature, the different cultures, um, the different types of food. Like, it's been just. I'm just so excited to write this series. I just cannot wait for this first book to just really get out there and inspire people so I can keep writing. And So you said series. That yeah. is a very important word there. Yeah. So that means this is not the last one. No, right? this, this is, is just, just the, the first. beginning. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So what can we expect for, um, you know, let's say the next one? Uh, are you going to write one about Trinidad? Oh, wow. Well, after my time here in Carnival, I, uh, I cannot wait to get a <laughs> Chandrini Yogini goes to Trinidad. Right. Because I actually had an opportunity to play mass and uh, really? it was incredible, yeah. Um, was it your first time? <laughs> it was, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to hear from a first time of what the experience <laughs> was like for you, you know, um, not knowing what to expect. Yeah. Probably having a general overview, you know, being told by your mom or told by friends. Um, what was your experience like? My experience was... Well, I'm still I'm still soaking it all in to be right. honest because it was it was like soca the soca stuff and then it was the pan drum and it was just like many things and so I'm just really just taking it all in it's been just it's been wonderful it's been really great I can only imagine taking it all in <laughs> yeah you know from my first time playing mass and experiencing carnival I actually played mass in Canada before I played mass in Trinidad oh wow. which is crazy well because I I went abroad to, to study but. Um, Black and white, you know, complete like night and day. Um, they have their own yes. experience and, and, you know, I appreciate that experience. Yes. But back home and, you know, how we do carnival here is just completely, completely different on a larger scale. And, um, yeah, I could I could relate to how you probably felt the first time, your first time playing this year. Yes, yeah. I'll be back and um, I love feathers. I <laughs> absolutely love feathers. So. Could we get you to actually read a couple more lines from yeah. um, your book? Yeah, absolutely. Well, each book is going to have the mantra, so keep right. keep, keep people excited. Um, and also, 
um, Chandrini Yogini says this mantra before she goes on each adventure and it is, I believe in myself, I believe in myself, and I believe in you too. Will you say it with me? So can you imagine right. the classrooms and the kids saying, I believe in myself, I believe in myself, and I believe in you too. <laughs> I could just imagine like, you know, with my, I have a little nephew yeah. and um, I don't get to read to him very often, but something like this, I'd, I'd be so enthusiastic to read to him because it's so positive and it gives such a good mes message. And, um, you know, that's something we need to get into the little ones from a very young age so that they grow up with that mentality being fostered from, you know, from early on. Yes, 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 yes. Can you imagine if we all just like, all just live life with passion and just feeling alive each day and really motivated to just like put yourself out there and can you imagine like the change that we can make? Exactly. <laughs> you know, um, you want you want kids that grow up feeling standing in their own power, yes. as I like to say, yes. and um, you know, leading their best lives. Leading their best lives, ultimately, yes. And that's why the yoga compo component of the book is also very important because it's about really understanding who you are inside and out. So, Chandra, how can we get a hold of your book? One, yes. and then how can we get a hold of you? Wow, um, I have Instagram, I have Facebook for both my personal page and also for the book. So ChandriniYogini.com is the website. Um, and then you also have Chandrini Yogini for Instagram as well. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's great. So um, we can get to you on social media and the book itself. Can we buy it off the website? You can see it on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, but also ChandriniYogini.com. You can order directly from the website. All right, well, Chandra, thank you so much for all you've shared this morning. And of course, we wish you the best. Um, you're one of our very own, you know, with your Trini lineage. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I'm excited to yes, be here. Yes, definitely. Thank you so and much. thank you so much for being here. All right, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.